Good afternoon. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist on this fourth Sunday of our Easter season, which is called by church custom Good Shepherd Sunday. During this special joyous season, we offer our hearts and minds to the Lord in devotion at this Eucharist. Just a few housekeeping matters. Starting next Sunday, for the first four Sundays in May, before the noon mass ends for the summer, the noon mass will also be a first communion mass. Regular mass goers are being asked to sit in the side aisle wall section so the first communicants and families may use the main aisle. This mass is being live streamed and recorded. Our ambassadors are here to welcome us, help us, and offer direction, especially at communion time. Baskets are at the door of the church to receive your financial offering for our parish. After you receive communion, you're asked to leave immediately by means of the side aisle and side doors in the lobby. Everyone must leave immediately receiving communion. I am Katie McNeese, your lector for this Mass, and our celebrant is Father Jack. Please stand. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you almighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely by what means he was saved, then all of you and all of the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene whom you crucified whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Let 
let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lord, you, Lord. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends, as Katie has already mentioned, for the next four Sundays at the 12 o'clock noon Mass, we will witness First Holy Communion. Father Brian refers to First Communion Day as the emotional center of our parish life together. We will watch many youngsters walking forward to receive their First Communion, meeting the risen Lord Jesus in the sacrament of his great love. Jesus, the Good Shepherd, summarizes his life. I will lay down my life in order to take it up again. Jesus, by claiming sovereign power over life, gives us all a new perspective on his resurrection. Jesus generously promises us, because I live, you also will live. Dear friends, every time we gather here in person or by live streaming, we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection of Jesus. Jesus strengthens us with the bread of life so that we might show his love to others, especially our neighbors in need. At this altar table, we pray, help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until we stand before you, saints among the saints, 
in the halls of heaven. Kindly stand for the prayers of the faithful. With confidence and trust, we now bring our prayers before God. For our whole church, the body of Christ, that we may be a visible sign of unity among people. In faith and hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord For unity in a world and within families torn apart by religious, political, or economic differences, in faith and hope, we pray to the Lord. For our leaders, whether they be world leaders, domestic government leaders, or church leaders, that they imitate the example of the Good Shepherd in caring for their charges, in faith and hope, we pray to the Lord. For our parish first communicants and all our parish members, that we may understand the Eucharist as a source of unity and strength in Christ. In faith and hope, we pray to the Lord. For those who've gone before us this past week, and for all those we remember on our virtual and church prayer wall, and for those we remember in a special way at this Mass, Francis D. Pietro, in faith and hope, we pray to the Lord. For the sick, that they have God's grace and also in gratitude for the many caregivers and workers who help all of us, in faith and hope, we pray to the Lord. For all of us to give faithful witness that we believe all human life is graced and a gift for everyone, in faith and hope, we pray to the Lord. For all those who are searching in life, that they listen to the voice of our Lord, calling them to his holy service. In faith and hope, we pray to the Lord. And for those who keep us safe, we pray for our first responders, emergency personnel, military, and all of our health care workers. In faith and hope, we pray to the Lord. Loving and merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we entrust these prayers and petitions to your wise and loving plan of providence for us. We are confident today because we unite our prayers to the prayers of the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church and Queen of Heaven, and speak them in the name of her Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and our Savior, forever and ever. stand. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For Jesus is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. 
therefore overcome with paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and the heavenly powers also with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Francis, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. is my shepherd I shall not want he brings me to rest in the meadow land beside the still waters my soul is restored he leads me in paths of righteousness
The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He brings me to rest in the meadowland. Beside the still waters, my soul is restored. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. My life flows on.